Hey, it's Josh with ProBlogger Income, and today I just wanted to talk about name servers and why a name server integration is the route you should take when you're setting yourself up with these OS. Why you want to use the name server integration as opposed to the plugin. What you're looking at is when you integrate with the name servers. The difference in switching the name servers is it doesn't change your hosting, which is what I see from people all the time online say their hosts say they're not hosted with them anymore, but name servers have nothing to do with hosting. Name servers are just like a, a pointer to tell you to tell anyone on the internet what IP address is your server and your website. So even if you're on Bluehost, then you would just start using Bluehost name servers if you haven't changed them. And for someone like me who gets their domains through Namecheap and uh, Google domains, uh, I always have to set the name servers because the host doesn't own my domain. It keeps me free from those kind of behaviors. For me to get my website on uh, Bluehost, I have to point them at Bluehost name servers. So in this case, all you're doing is replacing those name servers that are doing a job for you with Ezoics, which allows you access to their systems to speed you up. Whereas the plugin is going to add in extra hops because now it's going to have to talk to the name server, get to your server. Your server is going to say, oh, I've got this plugin. So now their plugin is going to have to talk back to Ezoic and then everything that's being served has to come back through the plugin after everything else to get there to be displayed. So your, your time is going to um, definitely increase now whether or not your users notice it or not it is to be seen um, I don't think ads impact people visitor wise as much as we're led on to believe and how much we personally seem to believe the overwhelming majority of stats when you look at it just shows that it makes no difference whatsoever if you run ads or not so ads help you make more income so with name servers what happens is you are route through a zoic to uh, closer servers to where the viewer is so the visitor will load content faster by default um, this page i'll put into the notes but um, it's just showing you how you do the integration it's really straightforward and then this part you change based on your host and not the host, but wherever you actually purchase the domain name from. For many of you, it's more than likely the host. So you just have to change where those point to instead of being ns1.bluehost.com, it's now baboon.izoxcns.com. And there's a whole list over here that I'll put in there also that kind of explains what each uh, host has to do that they know of and have instructions for. And then who it doesn't work with so you can kind of make some uh, educated uh, understandings before you start to move in but down here you know you have stuff like autoptimize and these other plugins that people run and you're running these on your site while trying to do everything else you're causing yourself to have speed issues so I just want to make sure that's understood so once you do this Typically, I've seen it in less than four hours, everything is fine, but uh, DNS can take, I think, up to really 48 hours, but I haven't seen it any time recently really take that long. So there is just showing you that this is your server, and basically just the people talk to the devices, which hits Ezoic and gets to your server. If you don't put Ezoic here, then it's just your host's name server here to the host. This just gives you one faster step of getting the ads and details out to your user, which will get you a faster loading website. Um, on that note, I did want to talk about a little bit of the site speed itself and how you can look and see, because um, if you do all of these optimizations, you should load basically the same as what you did before. So if you loaded it two seconds before, if you do this all correctly, then you should load theoretically close to two seconds afterwards. So 
this just says to make sure that caching is turned on. And then this report is the report for hits versus misses on the cache. And when you do a miss, it's just saying that uh, you may have pre-existing rules. You have something that's already set up on your website and is though it's not going to overwrite what you already had in place. So you may need to work with your host to go remove pre-existing rules for caching on your HT access setup. Um, and then you can reduce them. This is a couple of things to just change inside the settings that will help it override what you have there. Um, this for me has been a little bit hit and miss, but most of my sites don't have enough page views for me to easily see because if, if, if it's recaching a page the first time somebody visits it and they visit 40 pages independently on my site, then I'm going to get 40 misses because there's 40 pages that have to be cached and it does it every 24 hours. So the more visits you have, the more hits you should have by default. But until some of these sites that I have are getting to that level, it's not going to happen. So I want to shrink this for a second. And then inside settings, inside your account is where you can switch to the name servers. 100% do this. Don't do the plugin. The plugin is for people who are okay with subpar results on their website. If you're that way, then go ahead. But I'm always about trying to optimize and make it load as fast as possible. So name servers, you'll see Cloudflare linked. And then when you come down here, you'll see the IP address that you point to. And the IP address, like uh, especially currently with like SiteGround going through and moving users over to their new platform, they're going to give you a new IP address and you have to go change it in Azoic if you are on their service. Because if you don't change it, then your website's going to go nowhere. Like when people type in your address, it's going to point to an IP that's no longer yours. So when your host tells you they're going to change that IP address, you need to come in here and change it, or you need to talk to your representative and tell them, you know, it's about to change or it has changed this IP. Can you go change it inside Azoic for me? And speaking of that, I just wanted to show you the hits and miss section. So inside big data analytics, you actually just go into site speed and then caching and then Azoic caching. And this can show you um, how well you're doing. So if you'll see, I have 15 hits and 22 misses, right? Those 22 misses are more than likely 22 different pages on my site that had to be cached. And the 15 that were hits are people who went to those pages that were part of the 22. So the more page views you have in a day, the more hits you'll have by default because the cache will have already been built. But when you come down here in the data is where it starts to show you. So on a cache hit, the site's loading in 1.8 seconds. On a miss, 5.8 seconds. You see the time, average engagement at 15 versus 51 seconds. They're staying 20 seconds longer. So time to interactive for user 2.7 seconds, but it's 6.7 seconds when it misses. So what you can do is come in here and take a look. The other thing that may stand out to a lot of you is when you look at these things, 67% exit on a cache miss, 82 on on a hit. But look at this part, page RPM. On a cache hit, my page RPM skyrockets from $17.34 all the way up to $28.15. So every miss that I'm getting is losing me $11 per thousand visitors. So in the end, what you really want to do is to get the benefits of this and the caching and the speed, you have to be on the name servers and you have to get over this worry of somehow they own your website. They don't own your website. Your hosting hosts your website. You own the domain name. All you're giving is who's going to provide pointing to your server. That's it. It's not some magical thing that gives them control over your whole website. 
if you want to, you can immediately remove Ezoic by coming in here and changing that I the name servers back to your host again. And boom, Ezoic's totally off your system. They they don't own anything by using name servers. That's another frequent thing that I see out of the non-technical people is somehow a belief that by changing your name servers, you are giving control of your website to Ezoic, which isn't true. You're just trying to help the user by speeding up the things that they can do for you on your behalf. I would state that I would much rather have my website load at 2.7 seconds than 6.7 seconds, and the plugin's going to be closer to the 6.7 seconds because there is no ability to help you speed along loading of the ads. But I just wanted to put one out real quick just to kind of explain caching and explain why you want to do the name servers and how the name servers function and that they're not some mystical thing. They really are a huge benefit of making your site faster. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, I do have a couple more videos I'm going to try and do this week.